This is a quick clip to show you how to use uh, the soil pH meter that we're using here. This is a Kelway meter which looks, which measures the conductivity to work out the pH. And it's called a Kelway and the model number is HB2. So the soils here are quite dry which means that we need to moisten them before we can get a good measure. So first of all I'm going to use the pH meter uh, to make it the correct sized hole. Do it somewhere soft. So you don't want to damage the, the meter itself. Which so here we made the hole, which is the right size. I'm going to draw it. We're going to add some water. I'm going to fill the hole up with water and wait for it to trickle away. And in the meantime, we're going to now clean the meter. We need to clean these surfaces, metal surfaces, and you must never touch them with your hands because the grease will, will stop it working properly. So we're going to wipe it clean with a cloth. Sometimes the tip here becomes a bit loose, so you need to tighten that up. So wipe it down. Then we need to magnetise the surface. So we have these magnetising papers here. These you need to grip from the shiny side, not the dull side. So you place it here around the base of the pH meter and you just give it two to three scrapes. Place it back here. Then you take the cloth again and you just gently wipe off any metal that's come off. And then we place this meter into the hole here. And you need to be really careful when you do this to press the soil against the side of the pH meter because if you don't, then there's not enough contact for it to accurately, accurately measure the pH. So you're going to press it in. Make sure it's well pressed here. And then as you put it in, the dial will, will flip from, I think seven is the default. And there's a dial which will just, it just starts to go down and it will stabilize after a, probably 30 seconds or a minute. But wait until it's stabilized before taking the measure. So I'm having a look now and it seems to have stabilized, it's no longer moving. And the pH here is 6.4. So that's the pH measured. So then you, you take it out of the hole. You'll see it's quite muddy. Just wipe it down again. Again, avoiding touching the metal at all. You must never touch the metal with your fingers because the grease will break the contact. And that's it.